Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of The Studio. My name is Adam, and today we're going to be looking at marimba mallets from Dragonfly Percussion. Now, Dragonfly Percussion is a brand that not a lot of people are familiar with because they're one of the smaller brands out there, but they are from Buffalo in New York. Basically, they make marimba mallets, vibe mallets, glock mallets, stick bags, all the usual sort of stuff, but just in smaller quantities. I decided to take a look at these. They're marimba mallets. I don't own these. These are Jordan's. He's very kindly lent them to me for the show. Thank you, Jordan. If you don't know who Jordan is, he's this guy. These mallets attract a lot of attention because they're rubber cores that are wrapped in cloth and they have these little bands on the bottom to indicate hardness. It's a very unique design and it's supposed to be a middle ground between rubber mallets and woven mallets. Low key, it actually got to a point where I started calling these sack mallets because they look like little potato sacks. I mean, if you rotate it this way, they're essentially money bags. <laughs> and this design basically means, well, they're never gonna break because they're made of cloth. There's literally no point in me doing the studio squeeze test because there's nothing to squeeze. Excuse me? So these mallets definitely look like they can take a beating. Now Dragonfly Percussion only has one line of marimba mallets, which are these sack mallets, and they're all called M something. Uh, they go from M1 to M6. M1 is the softest. M6 is the hardest. And here I've got the M2, which is a medium soft pair. What I think is the M4, which is a medium hard pair. And the M5, which is a hard pair. Like seriously hard. The color of the cloth might have changed between now and when Jordan got these mallets, but essentially the design is the same. And I really got to give it to Dragonfly. This is a really cool design. Now because of the small range and Dragonfly is a bit of a small company and these heads are a very unique design, you'd expect them to be pretty expensive, but they're actually one of the cheapest mallets I've ever seen on the market. You can get these for under 30 US dollars, which is very impressive for any sort of marimba mallet let alone one with such a unique design. Now, like I said before, the head is really well built. I don't think it's gonna break anytime soon, but the shaft, you definitely get what you pay for. It's not anything special. It's not extremely lacquered. It's not very shiny or anything like that. It's just your everyday sort of bird shaft. If you go to the bottom, yes, it is a flattened out end, but it's not exactly the smoothest end in the world. It is a little bit rough here. So smooth ends do make friends, but not here. <laughs> And in the middle of the shaft, you have the Dragonfly Percussion logo, which has been stamped by the looks of it because they're all slightly different angles. It's not engraved, nothing fancy. And interestingly, they don't put the model number on the shaft, so... Hmm. But for the price, it's totally acceptable, totally robust. I don't see any problems coming out of it for build quality's sake. I kind of wish that the shaft was a little bit smoother, but you could always tape it, so that doesn't really matter. So build quality-wise, Good job, Dragonfly. Now that's all well and good, but what about ergonomics? These mallets are heavy. Not too heavy, just a little bit heavy. I'm assuming that's because the rubber cores are really, really big because they don't have yarn to cover all the space, so they just have a really big core. But yeah, overall on the weighty side for sure, but nothing like Ivana Bilic or Katarzyna Mishka. Definitely a little bit lighter than that. Also, as we go up the harnesses, the weight does get a little bit lighter. These are the orange ones and they're definitely a little bit lighter. And then it's even lighter when we get to the M5s. The heads are also slightly smaller. So yeah, overall, not a huge variance in weight, but there is a little bit of variance. So if you don't like your mallets having different weights, you might be a little bit disappointed. <laughs> but again, not a big difference. We're talking about mallets that are under 30 US dollars here. So the fact that the weight profile is relatively similar is pretty impressive. Again, length is definitely pretty standard. The rough end at the bottom does disturb me a little bit sometimes, but because it's flat, it's not so bad when you're doing like Steven's grip or whatever. It should be fine. Now, in terms of sound, the Dragonfly mallets, because of this head design, they tend to have more of a loud, articulate, in your face sort of sound profile. There's not so much warmth, there's not so much depth to the sound. It's more like bang, 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 bang. And that's not a bad thing, you know? Like, there are a lot of situations where bang, 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 bang is a good thing. Again, as always, I will let you decide first. Here is the sound test. There is a little bit of a vibration in the background. Sorry about that, I don't know what it was. It just freaked me out. I walked around the studio for like 20 minutes trying to find out what it was. Never found it. <sighs> I have failed. But yeah, check out the sound test.
Again, there is no right or wrong choice for mallets. So I know a lot of people who love these and I don't particularly hate them or anything. They're pretty decent mallets, but I could definitely identify some contact sound in there. And that's obviously because of this cloth design. If you go onto the Dragonfly Percussion website, you'll notice that a lot of the recommendations for the use of these mallets rotate around ensemble use. And I totally agree with that statement. If you're using this in an ensemble, that'll be perfect. These yellow mallets, the hard mallets, they speak so loud, they could cut across a football field. Like, they are so loud. I personally wouldn't use these for solo marimba, but there might be a situation where you need in-your-face mallets, and if that's the case, this is the one to get. I don't know why I put that accent on, it sounds horrendous. Please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, it means a lot to me. And leave me a comment telling me what you think about the Dragonfly percussion mallets, or if you want to suggest something for the next episode, let me know. I'm really pleased that the Technique Talk video, which was the last episode, went really well. If you want to check that out, that's over here. Ah, wrong side. <laughs> And as always, please hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already to keep up with my uploads. Share this video to your friends or anyone that you know that's interested in percussion because I always make videos for you guys. And with that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week for another episode of The Studio. Good night. So lame. <laughs> We're done.